Hey guys, it's me, Sydney, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are happy and having a great day. Um, today's a better day, but I do want to talk about something that happened recently. If you guys didn't see my... I've never told you about my biggest struggle, it's back and it's bad video. That video basically talks about my really, really bad mental state that I've been struggling with for a very long time. And I finally really opened up Raw and Real. And I want you guys, if you haven't seen it, to take a second and just click the link that I have. I'll have it down below for you so you can understand the video that I'm about to be talking about the reaction to from my college. So with that being said, we're going to jump into this video. I want to do a little disclaimer. I am not bashing ASU at all. I'm actually very thankful for everything that happened. And I want to say to President Michael Crow and to everyone at the university, thank you for caring and thank you for getting me the help I needed. And thank you to Adriana, thank you to Kevin, thank you to Amy, thank you to a ton of other people, thank you to Mark, thank you to David. And anyone else who's watching this that is someone that, you know, has been in this process with me. So with that being said, I just wanted to make that disclaimer and I wanted to say those thank yous. So, Whew, okay. And thank you to Taylor. That is another voicemail that I got from someone. So with that being said, I want to talk about some things. So I posted this video about, you know, about a week ago. Um, this is a much better day. I had therapy this morning and I've just been feeling a little bit better. A li like, I'm still feeling very lost, but, you know, it comes and it goes in waves. Like, the feeling is just either really good or really bad. And I actually did something today with my room. I put some pictures up to make me feel happier. So, like, if you're wondering, like, I'm making little changes, which I'm going to be covering in another video. This is also going to be unedited. And... I wanted to post this though because I feel like people and you guys like want to know what's going on in my real life and this is something that's definitely going on in my real life. So a little bit of the backstory. I posted that video and it didn't go viral whatsoever but everyone at the university that saw it saw it and like was took big concern to it which I can understand why because you know that video wasn't something to take lightly and it was definitely a plea for help and it was probably went me at like my lowest point in my entire life at this point and um yeah they didn't neglect it they they did something that i'll always be grateful for so now we're gonna get into what they did so i posted the video on tuesday night around like four or five and i was so like I was just gone you guys I was not there I was completely I felt like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders but I was still so lost confused empty in this dark place and um, I started receiving so many calls so many texts because you know what can you expect when you post a YouTube video doing saying how you're feeling and saying things that you know are really horrible that a lot of people, don't, you know, just don't feel or they don't talk about or, you know, something so serious, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I received a ton of voicemails from ASU-related people. And it was crazy because I didn't think that anyone from ASU still watched my videos, like, admin-wise. But people do. Um, and staff-wise. So... The next day, I did not go to class. The day after that, I went to my English class. And that was the first class I'd gone to. It's like two days after the video had been up. And between that time, they had sent someone from housing, like one of the very high up people, to come and find me. They had sent someone from the advocacy office. They had sent someone from um, uh, student services and to either call me, come find me, knock on my dorm door, like everything in their power, email me, everything in their power to reach out to me. And I was not there, like I was not mentally there. I was literally just a blob and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go to class because this is the one class I like. This is the one professor, there's two professors in that class that I just 
I'm happier in like I can go to that class and I went to the class made it almost through the class and I was like 15 minutes away and I let I had to leave um, I stopped working and he the professor called me over and I immediately started crying and it was just so hard and um, oh sorry that was like the class that I had like before so then when I came back into this English class and I was like okay I'm gonna come to English after posting this video and you know this is one of my bigger classes but there's two professors in it uh, one pulled me aside and I was sitting in there before the professors got there and I look back and I see this guy um, standing in the back so I figured we we're gonna have a presentation that day but then the professor called me out of class and he was like hey Cindy like I just want you to know like I saw your video and immediately my heart sank because I did not want my professor to think that I was the that I posted because I didn't like him or because he had made me you know feel that way or feel left out or excluded by not being in class that day because that definitely wasn't the case but then he was like there's someone here who asked if they could talk to you and I was like oh my god who is this and it was the guy that was in the back and I at that point hadn't been at the dorms I hadn't been you know answering my phone and he was someone that was very worried about me and he watches my youtube videos he's one of the people that works for asu and there's multiple other people that were worried about me that were there and so he was like hey like can we please have a meeting and he was like it's fine if you don't want to but like i'd really i think i could really help you and you know at this point i was like i don't have anything to lose i posted a youtube video i spilled my heart out in it and you know nothing can get worse it can only get better so I agreed to it and agreeing to that and having those professors really changed everything for me so I'm looking at my notes right now because I don't want to get anything wrong because you guys I'm like a wreck um, my professor also told me that he didn't call that guy and the guy had seen the video and my professor had seen the video so like a lot of people had seen the video without like it being shared but then it had been shared to most of the asu staff as like hey watch out for this girl we're worried about her that's what the advocacy person told me um and i didn't really realize what was going to go on but then um this person we're going to call him john so John asked if I would be willing to talk and I agreed. I was like, okay, yeah. And we were walking and talking and it was just the entire time he was telling me things in my videos that were true and honest and the things he was pointing out really made me realize that he cared. And uh, it was just a really good experience because like it wasn't just like ASU like pulling me out of class. It was a, it was ASU showing how they care. And now I'm filming. Huh? Go away, I'm filming. Oh, um, sorry, I was I'm not trying to be mean to my mom. She just knows, but I'm not editing that out. Um, but it was ASU showing that they cared and it was just a crazy feeling to know that someone that's older than me watches my videos and can relate and he told me so many things and I was like, Wow, John really relates. And I felt so safe and I felt like I wasn't alone as I was walking with just this one person from ASU and it was just it was a really good experience and then um, John took me to the psychologist counselor therapist um, and then I know there's counseling and then there's also therapy and then there's something else and uh, I think it's a psychologist is who I went to or therapist one of the two we made a safety plan um, and this was all free and this is something that I never thought was a resource and this is why I think it's so important to talk about this because you guys I don't ever want you guys to feel alone I don't ever want you guys to feel like you don't have someone to talk to because you do and I met with this person and let's call this person Barbara so I met with Barbara and we made a safety plan we you know talked about things and she got me in so fast into there and it was like they were all waiting for me and it was crazy like John went back there talked to her first 
and kind of like I maybe briefed her on like my mental state for that day or something and I filled out some stuff and then um, I felt a little better talking and knowing that like I'm not crazy knowing that like what I'm going through is something that other people do go through and like talking to someone and like feeling like it was like easier to open up and um, knowing that this person was not biased they had seen my YouTube video though so they had seen a little bit of it and they, they made that clear to me they told me that they had, there was an email out and then they took me to see the Dean of Students um, person for advocacy um, this person explained to me what she can do for me and I didn't want to dispute many things so like the advocacy person can basically email professors for you uh, help you dispute grades like stuff like that because they are your advocate and um, I didn't do anything major I just really wanted her to send an email out for all the classes that I missed telling them that you know she told she encouraged me to do this because she said that like if I just go a wall and disappear like it looks way worse so she you know emailed them for me and I missed a lot of classes at this point like this past month has been like really hard then I realized I had forgotten that everything that I had just done within that past you know few hours was all available to me before it got that bad but they you know had to basically like drag me there get me there to do it but I'm so grateful that they did so I, you know I forgot all those resources were available to me because I was hurting so deeply inside and had lost hope but don't lose hope guys it does get better and I guess the bottom line of this whole video is you know People care. ASU cares. And anyone who's thinking about going to ASU, that's probably like one of the most amazing, like, one of the most amazing resources that they have. If you guys go to ASU and you're struggling with something, please go and talk to them. Do not feel alone. If you are ever, you know, at ASU and you, you know, you're someone that's just struggling and you want to sit down and have a coffee, like, know that there's people that are here for you so i think that's my my main message for today um i just wanted to talk to you guys about it i really wanted to share that with you and i, I asu cares and i'm so grateful for them and i'm grateful to be at this university because i wouldn't have probably gotten help i probably would have just done nothing um and since then they've connected me I've had a couple of sessions now with Barbara, Barbara, and it's been great because I've had a couple of sessions and I ended up, we talked about so many things that now, as you guys know, I have hypothyroidism and when you have a thyroid disease that is linked with depression. So there are a lot of side effects that come with it. But, um, having that condition, I have an endocrinologist that I really don't like and she actually has one that, you know, I like this person that I'm, Barbara, the one that I'm talking to. She is someone that I can relate to and understands me. And so the endocrinologist I have right now is like super crappy. So she referred me to a new one that um, she actually goes to. And it's crazy because like, I feel like this is going to help me out in so many other ways than just like my mental health. Like my physical health is probably going to be getting a lot better because I'm going to get a new endocrinologist who's probably going to do a much better job with you know my medication <clears throat> and like understanding what I want not what the books say because like yes I understand that like law blah blah, blah but at the end of the day if I don't take my medication then the medication dosage you're giving me isn't doing jack shit so that's kind of the thing um, I'm going to a I think she's a psychiatrist um, I'm going to psychiatrist and I'm getting help and riding the ride of life you guys so i really hope that you guys enjoyed i really hope that this helped you out if it did then um you know be sure to keep following my journey and yeah so this is another closest right now but i love you guys so much i finally had the motivation to film and i wanted to get this up so so when the sun's going down, it's 7 o'clock, and uh, yeah, I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, babe.